Hello and welcome to another Precision Fire Repairs video. This one is on the S Helper SW1 diesel switcher in Chicago Northwestern colors. S Helper engines are made extremely well in terms of their detail and quality. If you haven't owned any, you're in for a great surprise when you do because of just how nicely they're manufactured, how fun they are to operate. This one is for sale. It's going to come to the lucky new owner with its original box. And in fact, it's original registration card still inside. The original styrofoam insert and packing sheets. The extra set of scale wheels. The extra pair of alternate end plates. The factory goodies that include pickup springs bolts for scale couplers if you want to put them on they're not included they weren't originally an alternative an alternate uh, smokestack and a dc shorting plug as well as the user's manual with harley crease in it this is the little engine that said i can because not only does it run ac dc out of the box with a four position reverse unit inside compatible with both ac and dc it can also be made to run on DC layouts that use polarity reversing for it to change direction. You have to take the hood off and you have to swap out, or I should say install, a little shorting board. There it is, you can see some of it inside this bag. It's just got pins on the bottom, there they are, that insert into a board inside the engine. And then that takes out the reverse unit and allows you to run on DC layouts that use polarity reversing to change direction instead. It also comes DCC decoder compatible. It does not come with a DCC decoder, but it comes ready to run with a DCC decoder without modification. You just have to have the right pin plug with your decoder of choice, and there are instructions for all of that in the manual. But what looks at first like a pretty basic AC conventional engine actually has quite a great deal of versatility to it. So I think I'm just going to run this one. There is no smoke. There is no sound system. It just starts up and runs very smoothly and well, whether at a low degree of power or a lot of power applied to it. One thing you'll take note of is in paying particular attention to every detail, the headlight housing is very small and even smaller still are the two lenses that are in there to allow light to emit from the housing. So not a lot of light actually does come out and you have to have the engine up on a considerably high level of voltage, say 12 volts. And for this little motor, when it's at 12 volts, it's running pretty fast. Um, for the light to be visible, particularly in daylight, same thing you can see uh, the little tail light Nasal here has two tiny little lenses in it and number boards. Um, so not a lot of lens for light to be emitted from those. Um, so you may not see much while it's running in daylight. I'll try putting the voltage up high enough that you can see them, but just to point that out. The operating couplers on both ends are American Fire compatible. The wheels on this one, as it is stock out of the box, are American Fire high rail compatible. It did come, as I mentioned, with spare scale ones, if you would prefer to run it that way on scale wheel compatible tracks. So without any further ado, um, I did want to mention that it is for sale. And uh, if you'd like to see the complete list of my trains for sale, please go to my home page of my website at www.precisionflyerrepairs.com. Thank you very much. So I'm going to come over here and um, start off. You can see the voltmeter. I'm going to fire it up with the uh, TPC 400 to a whopping five and a half or so volts. And you can see with just that much power, it's off and running nice and smoothly. As I mentioned, that's a trademark or signature sign of S helper engines is how smooth and relatively quiet they run. 
didn't see much headlight that time around. I'll turn it up to 12 volts. Now you can see a little bit more of that headlight. Still not a lot because there's such a tiny amount of lens for the light to come through. I'll stop it. And you can see it's tail light come on with about the same level of brilliance at 12 volts. So enough of that exercise. Let's crank it back down to um, just five and a half or so and see it purr because as a switcher it's not going to be out on the main line pulling long consists. It's going to be switching trains around helping to build those consists and it's really outfitted beautifully for that duty and those responsibilities on your layout. I like the paint scheme. I've owned four or five of these engines by S Helper. This is my last and they've all been a real pleasure to own and operate. So without any further ado, that's it. The S Helper SW1 switcher in Chicago Northwestern colors available for you to purchase. And until next time, be well and have fun running your trains.